My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to use the Fiscal Period Modifier tool in Dynamics GP. The Fiscal Period Modifier tool is part of a larger tool set called the Professional Services Tool Library, PSTL for short. The PSTL is now a standard feature in GP that has many valuable tools available to users that used to only be accessible via Microsoft support or your implementation partner. Before using any of these tools, be sure that you are logged in as SA and make a backup of the company database. For this tool specifically, I would suggest trying it in a test company first before your production company. The fiscal period modifier allows a company to redefine the fiscal periods in GP. Changing the fiscal year end date can be a stressful process. There are lots of agencies to report this to, which include filing several, several special forms. However, GP tries to take some of the stress out of this process with this tool. When this powerful tool is run, it will erase all fiscal periods that have been set up in GP. Your first step in this process is to retrieve a list of all periods that are set up in GP currently and whether those periods are historical or not. There are two steps needed to retrieve this information. First, navigate to Reports, Company, Setup. I'm going to choose the Fiscal Periods Report and let's print that. We're going to print it to the screen. And here we see in this company, I have one fiscal period set up, which is the year 2017. Now, this report does not show which years are historical or not. So if I had a bunch of years here, I would not be able to tell which are historical and which are not. So to find that out, we go to the GP menu, Tools, Setup, Company, Fiscal Periods. So every year that you see here will have this check mark, check box here. If it's checked, then it's a historical year. If not, then it's not. Make note of these historical years on that same report that you just printed, the Fiscal Periods report. So now you're ready to actually use the tool. Let's go to the PST PSTL main setup and let's find the fiscal period modifier under financial tools. So you're, it's broken down into three steps. The first step is to set up new fiscal periods. Now before you click the set up periods button, remember that all fiscal current fiscal periods will be erased. So click setup periods and there you go the setup information has been removed. So 2017 here and I'm just going to pretend like the the year starts in April. Ooh, 01 2017 and 03 31 2018. And we saw that it wasn't a historical year so we clicked the calculate button. And there we have our new periods. Click okay. And then we need to open up the fiscal period modifier window again. And if there were any closed periods that you needed to reopen during this process, you can go ahead and select them here and click open year. And lastly, you click process. Click yes in the next window here to update the GL open and history table. And there you go, it is done. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.